hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new please consider subscribing and if you're not new thank you guys so much for coming back i really appreciate your support today i am going to be sharing with you my summer essentials and i say essentials like i swear by these things they're not just like current favorites they're not just like monthly favorites these are things that i live for in the summer but some of them i use year round and i swear by okay so uh, I have honestly, I have makeup, I have some fashion, I have some skincare, uh, and some sunglasses. I literally have a little bit of everything, and these are like, I mean, I feel like I don't want to toot my own horn, but I feel like these are great things. So, if you guys want to see some of my summer essentials, summer favorites, if you will, um, then just keep on watching. Let me start with a random thing, but a lifesaver, okay? So, you guys know summer tops, summer dresses, women's clothing in the summer sometimes makes it really hard to wear like a normal bra. It's a little bit scandalous and like if you don't want your bra showing, you know. So I used to buy those like nipple covers, okay, like those round jelly nipple covers, nipple stickers, if you will. But I hated those for two reasons. First of all, I felt like they kind of like stuck out a bit, like they added a little bit of like extra stuff going on you know and also I feel like because they're jelly on the inside if you're sweating too much um they honestly didn't stick the best and then you spent the whole night like pushing them down and looking like a weirdo I don't know I know that other people have gone through that I know I'm not the only one it used to drive me crazy and like I said I feel like they kind of just because they're thick usually they kind of just stick out a little further which makes it more obvious that you're wearing nipple covers if that makes sense plus they are very expensive to keep repurchasing yes you can rewear them a couple times there's always instructions back there saying that like to wash them but i found even after i washed them and dried them as per like the instructions they just didn't stick the same and if you sweat they sometimes they didn't even last the first time to be honest so what i love is I buy this this is kinesiology tape okay do you see what it says I got mine sorry my camera cut out I got my kinesiology tape on Amazon I just typed in kinesiology tape and I got the beige one um there a whole bunch of different sellers sell it I got the beige ones and it comes with three rolls and it's very affordable when you think about how much you get and how well it works so it's super thin it's like paper thin this is beige so it kind of like honestly matches like close enough to the color of my skin you just cut it to the size that you want it this is like my life hack okay this is not just for summer but summertime specifically because you guys know clothing in the summer for women makes it really hard to wear a normal bra anyways you cut it to how you want it and you can literally just cut it to cover your nipple or you can cover your whole boob if you want to you can tape your boobs up with this if you want to like you know for like extra support if you're wearing a low cut top or like an open back top you can do a whole bunch with this but i'm not gonna lie to you i don't do all that I kind of just let my girls lay where they lay and I just cut it to the size I want it to cover my nipples so that at least I don't have to be worrying about my nipples like showing. Um, sometimes if it's super cold outside, like I'm just not going to lie here, we're being open and honest. If it's super cold, like sure you might see a little bit of a bump still, but at least if your clothing is sheer or anything like that, you don't see any nipple you don't see any areola it's covered this is so much better this is kinesiology tape obviously it stays on there so what you do is you cut it you put it on and you kind of have to like rub it to activate it this is the lot i'm doing right now but you have to rub it to activate it but once it's on it doesn't matter how much you sweat even if it gets wet like it will stay there so basically with that said it sometimes stays too well so to take it off i kind of just go in the shower i let the shower run and then i take it off in there so that it doesn't hurt and <laughs> just take it off slowly but at least I'd rather that than have to worry about it like coming off and then like doing this all night to press it on without being obvious like to stick it back down you know what I mean or you could also use like uh, any kind of oil coconut oil baby oil whatever to help you take it off but you get three rolls super affordable you can use it with any type of different clothing and because it's just like a roll like this you can literally cut it however you want to work it with whatever different clothing piece you're using you know so that's great and you can tape them up you can do all different kind of things 
and that's that and then i guess let's talk let's talk body care so first up i have this this is the murad acne control clarifying body spray Summertime, I feel like a lot of people struggle. If you don't struggle with body acne, then you're very lucky. Good for you. But I feel like it's something that a lot of people do struggle with, especially in the summer with like sweating and everything. And they're too like embarrassed to bring it up or it makes them like self-conscious to wear certain types of clothing. And I did, now I don't, I don't struggle too much with it anymore, luckily, but certain times on and off, I do struggle with like acne on my back maybe it's because of like the conditioner in my hair I don't know but I discovered this and this is a spray that you can spray on yourself you could have it upside down and it will still spray you can spray it from any angle and it helps clear you can spray it anywhere on your body I used it for my back um we're friends here so I feel like I could be honest and it helped a lot and it makes you not self-conscious and then you could just live your best life you can wear whatever you want especially in the summer um, so yeah, that's the Murad clarifying body spray. I swear by this. I love it And then you don't have to be embarrassed and have to ask somebody for help or Whatever you could do it yourself and it really helps it really helped clear my back up I feel like I struggled when I was pregnant, especially maybe it was because of my hormones. Okay, I'm gonna stop pulling this up We're just gonna leave it But yeah, luckily I don't struggle too much with it anymore But when I do this is a lifesaver and I know a lot of people Struggle with it and they don't know what to use and this this really works. So um, these are the Tower 28, I believe they're called the Lip Jellies. Yeah, Shine On Lip Jellies. The ones I have are all from the Creamy line. So these have a little bit of like a milkiness to them. They're a little bit, the formula is exactly the same, but the way it applies, th these ones are a little bit um, of like a creamy, milky kind of finish they do have another line where they have a clear a completely clear one and then they have some that have like a little bit of a tint which makes you kind of look like you were sucking on a popsicle which could also be a vibe but I kind of like these kind of milky ones and I'm not talking about the colors because honestly the colors don't matter all of the colors are beautiful but it's the formula the formula of these literally is the best lip gloss formula I've ever tried in my life but it depends what you like, I guess. They're not sticky. These make your lips look wet. They make them look juicy, delicious, plump. They do not settle in your fine lines. And they just look gorgeous, but without being sticky at all. And without, like, moving everywhere. So, I swear by these. They're not that expensive either. I believe they're, like, $20 or under Canadian, which is pretty good. And I love them. I, I, I'm kind of tempted to put one on, but I'm not going to because... I'm wearing something else, which I'm going to talk about now. In the summertime, I, I swear by colors for the summer, honestly. That's when I like to wear a pop of color on my cheeks and on my lips because I do my makeup pretty, like, simple. Just, like, bronzy, glowy, but with, like, a pop of color on my cheeks and my lips. So what I'm wearing today, I've worn the past few summers, and this is the Laura Mercier. It looks like this. It's, like, a chubby crayon stick. And this is in the color On Point. This is their Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick. It's basically like a chubby lip crayon. That's what it looks like. And like I said, it's what I'm wearing right now. The color is like a very vibrant, beautiful orange. Personally, I swear by an orange lip for the summer. I love orange lips, especially in the summer with like tanned, glowy skin. I don't know, it's a vibe, it's my vibe. And because it's a chubby lip crayon, you kind of need a lip liner to just like perfect the outer line, you know? So the one that I use is by Makeup Forever and this is in this shade 702 Any Tangerine. This is what it looks like. It's these newer lip pencils that they have and this is the one that I'm wearing with this today. It's kind of like a perfect combo. I'm just gonna do it here. But it's what I'm wearing on today. I'm just going to show you them together. So that's the lip liner. That's the lipstick. They're so pretty. If you love an orange, it's a matte formula, so it's not going to transfer. And I feel like when you're wearing um, a brighter color like this, if my color light, lighting just changed, I'm sorry. But when you're wearing a color like this, you kind of want it to be matte so it doesn't go all over your face and transfer everywhere. But it's not super drying. So I really like that. And then another go-to color. This is... The Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade It's Happening. 
if this is not the prettiest bright fuchsia pink ever i wore this in a couple videos back and i talked about it in my sephora bib sale haul because i did get this during the sale and look at that color that is the prettiest pink ever and i feel like this with tan skin with like just minimal makeup this looks so nice and it is a little bit this one is definitely a little bit more matte because it's a liquid lipstick it's supposed to be long wearing so kind of just prep your lips maybe wear a lip balm underneath or throughout the day if you want to just throw on like a clear lip gloss so so nice and then for the pop of blush I tend to wear like peachy orangey blushes in the summer the one I'm going to show you is the one I'm wearing now and it looks crazy but just go in light-handed okay I feel like people see blushes and they're like scared by them but this again is by makeup forever oh you know what this is one of the pens I'm gonna have to put the name on the screen because you know makeup forever plays us and they don't put a name it's like numbers and dashes and all kind of things so but this is what this one looks like i want you to really see the color this is honestly like it's like a very bright kind of dark orange this is like straight up i feel like back here you could probably see it better it's pretty intimidating even for me but colors like this it's kind of like a burnt orange it's not too um peachy so this i feel like has a little bit more like red in it and the reason i really like this shade look at that okay like could you see that i feel like you could see it in this lighting this shade in the summer i love because it gives you like that kind of sunburnt vibe which i really like it looks intimidating but i always just kind of put my my brush in it tap it off on my hand and then put it on my cheeks and i kind of just build it up you know that's how i use it and i love that color for the summer i put it like on my cheeks a little bit on my nose and it gives you like that sunburnt effect if you're lighter than me i would maybe you could go in really light handed but if you're darker than me oh, i feel like this would look even more beautiful on you Okay, now I'm going to talk, oh, let's talk about these first. These are some sunglasses that I got on Amazon. Again, I will try and leave the link for everything down below. I got these recently, so I could probably link these. But I've been seeing like this shape of sunglasses everywhere. And I have an all black frame too that I got, which I really like. But these ones have this little bit of like tortoise. I think it's tortoise at the bottom, just at the bottom which I think makes it like super classy. They look so expensive, but these were like $20 Canadian, which is really good. And I wore my black ones last year, like all the time. They stayed in the car, they stayed in my bag. I wore them all the time and I really like them. They're kind of sassy. I like that kind of subtle like cat eye. I don't know, they make me feel sassy, especially with one of these lips. Can't talk to me. Anyway, I mean, you can, we're friends, but. And then let's talk, um, I just have like kind of accessories and clothing. So this is a bag. This one is from Shein. I am 411. So you've probably seen these bags everywhere, but in the bigger version. And that's just like a little bit much for me to carry on a regular basis. That's more of like a, you know, you take a cute picture in it, but it's not practical for me is what I'm saying. This one gives you like the same vibe. It's very summery. It's beachy, but I feel like honestly, I've dressed this up and I've worn it really casual. You could wear it either way. And I love that it gives you the same vibe. It's so cute for summertime. I've used this so much. This is like literally, I consider it an essential because I've used it so much. I just find it is a perfect summer accessory. And I love that the size is more practical and this one comes with a shoulder strap so you could also wear it over your shoulder like if you're actually traveling if you're on vacation you know you don't always like to be carrying things so I love that kind of feature the inside has like some polka dot lining it's really cute and it was from Shein so it was super affordable and I actually checked their website before I did this and it was in stock so I'm hoping it's still in stock but it was really cheap under $20 Canadian I think it was like 15 or something and I've used it so much it holds decent amount of things like everything that I need to take with me fits in here like I said I've dressed it up and I've dressed it down you could use it to the beach you could use it on vacation but I've also worn it with like 
all black, like an all black outfit, if I wanted to make it just a tiny bit more summery and casual, um, I've used this to kind of like dress it down. Love that. And then let's talk shorts because if you are curvy, a little bit bottom heavy, I am. Uh, I'm 4'11", so I'm petite, but I wear between, like, sometimes a size 6, sometimes a size 8. So I'm definitely a little bit curvy, a little bit bottom heavy, um, and shorts can be a nightmare for me because if you have thick thighs, everyone says like, oh, thick thighs are great. Yeah, they're fun and games until it's summertime, and they're rubbing together and starting a fire. And that's a disaster so honestly I feel like I've hated shorts forever it's a practical thing because in the summer obviously if it's super hot all the time you want to wear shorts but they're not always comfortable and I haven't always loved how they fit if they're too high they kind of like cut you off in a bad place and make your thighs look bigger and if they're too long because I'm too short then they make me look frumpy and gross so I found the perfect shorts this year. Last year I talked about an American Eagle pair, which I still really do like, the American Eagle boyfriend shorts. But these ones are a little bit more expensive, but so much work, like they're so worth it because these ones are a little bit longer, but not, they hit at the perfect length. So they're not a Bermuda short, but they're not like a short short. So your booty cheeks are not hanging out. These are from Abercrombie and this is the, let me show you because I have, I have two pairs, okay. This one is a tiny bit more distressed than this one. They look similar but you know like when you find something you like, you buy it in different shades and different sizes. So this is what it looks like, okay. I have that pair and then I have this pair which has a little bit less distressing and a little bit more simple, you know. And this is what it is. It's from Abercrombie and it is the four inch mom short. And they're high rise and they are a tiny bit longer. They have a, Abercrombie has a regular mom short, but you have to get the ones that say the four inch. They have less um, styles in this one, but if you're looking for something a little bit longer to prevent like chafing, like the chub rub of your thighs rubbing together, these are perfect, but they're still not they're super long. Like I'm like, you guys are just gonna have to trust me Honestly, if you are curvy or like bottom heavy, if you got a little bit of a bum and you got some thighs and you're looking for something that's a little bit longer, but not a Bermuda short, but not a short short, these are so perfect. Um, they are like, they're like a hybrid rigid denim. So I think they're 99% cotton and 1% spandex but that one percent is only one percent but it makes the biggest difference okay the american eagle ones are a hundred percent cotton so there's absolutely no give um these ones are like honestly they still give you the structure that you want but with just the tiniest bit of stretch which i feel like makes a huge difference that one percent makes a big difference um i will say in the two pairs i got i did size up so i got a size eight and usually I'm a size six like I'm a true size six sometimes I could even be a four but for the most part I'm a true size six and in these mom shorts I did get a size eight because anything that is 99 or 100 percent cotton I will usually size up because I don't like to sit usually they're okay when I'm standing but my problem is if I got a six when I was standing it would be fine probably but I hate to sit down and then it's like cutting you in half you know when it's like digging into your stomach so I sized up for comfort and also I always kind of like take into account that I'm gonna wash and dry these some people don't dry their clothes I'm lazy and I do so in case of shrinkage you know I sized up to an eight and they still fit me very well and I could still live my best life um so yeah that is everything I really quickly also wanted to mention I mean it's summer you have to talk about an SPF the face I always wear SPF on my face. The one that I use for the most part, like year round, as like it's a moisturizer and SPF in one. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer with SPF 30. My bottle's disgusting because I use it all the time, so don't judge me. It I take this with me everywhere to travel, everything. It's a jumbo bottle. It comes with 125 ml and it's pretty affordable. And I kind of like the convenience of having a moisturizer and an SPF in one without it being super thick. It's not super greasy, but it still hydrates. So I wanted that like two in one. I also use a tinted one sometimes, but 
I would be willing to take SPF um, recommendations because I still haven't found one that I like swear by. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't want one that's too thick and too greasy, but I also don't want one that's super matte and it's going to make my skin dry. I would like like a hybrid. If you guys have any good suggestions, let me know because I do use this all the time. You could see, I don't know if you could see, but I'm literally like almost out of it. It's been through it and I, I, I liked it. I didn't love it, but it's a necessity, so... I just thought I'd share with you the one that I use. I, I try different ones all the time because I wasn't obsessed with it. I just liked that it came with a lot. It was affordable. Kiehl's is known to be a good brand for the most part, I think. So I kind of just got it. But if you guys have any good recommendations for a facial SPF, leave them down below. Anyways, these are, were all of my summer essentials. I hope you guys liked this video. I'm sorry I was rambly and it was probably long, but... I hope you guys liked it. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Instagram. It's always linked down below. And I will see you guys in the next one.